Hi everybody, Corey Thorne, the spiritual healer, coming in to do the weekly channeled message forecast for the week. And this is the last week of December and also in a full moon energy. I do want to also say that this moon, I, I had to look, see if I was still plugged in, that this moon is truly what we call the cold moon. And, um, and what I keep seeing and hearing is that even on the coldest days, we believe that the ground is fro frozen and, and everything is dead. And we see everything as like the grass is dead, the trees are dormant, like all of this. And, but what we don't realize is there's still a lot growing beneath the ground. Seeds are still getting, they're still growing. They're still breaking free. They're preparing. There's a lot of preparation that happens inside of, of the, of the seed. Same thing with the cosmic eggs of life. There's a lot of preparation before something breaks out. It's watching a chick, watching a baby bird being born any or being prepared. And so sometimes we're being told patience, 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 that, you know, we are in a shift, we're in a change, we're in the age of Aquarius. And so we're in the air signs right now. And we're in, we're in, life is up in the air. There's a lot of things. There's no final decisions. There's no final say. There's a lot of things that are like, we think this is what's going to happen, or this is what's supposed to happen. But I feel like January is going to bring a lot of surprises. Um, uh, there's also going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of dismantling. There's going to be a lot of change. There's a lot of things to come. And sometimes that my dog is going crazy. And so sometimes there will be times that we're going to have to be left in the cold or things are going to be left in the cold. People are going to be left in the cold. There is, um, as we're coming into a new year and every, and I, you know, I am a very positive person. I live in that light, but I'm also a realist. And so there's a real truth and a real reality beyond these stories. And I'm very all over the place. There's a lot going on today. There's a lot of energy. This is actually on the 28th, I think it is. <laughs> and so it is the Monday. And I just, there's a lot of energy happening right now. There's a lot of things flying past me. There's a lot of things going by. And I can tell you <laughs> that we have to let things play out till the end. We have to... We have to let things play to an end. Does anybody see that going on behind me there? That's called a dog being a clown. And so there's a lot of distraction right now. There's a lot of, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of movement and we, but you're not seeing it. And so that's what I want to say. So beneath the ground, beneath the earth, in the universe, there's a lot of action that you cannot see yet. There's a lot of things happening and it feels like it's like we're in dead air. Like everything just feels like everything came to a standstill. Um, it appears to be boring. It appears to be quiet. It is not. There's a lot of destruction happening. There's a lot of things that we can only see if we're willing to look beyond our normal perspective, the place that we normally look or where we gain our information and knowledge. There's a lot happening beyond what would be in our norm or, or, the, or the places that we look to be comfortable in our world. And so... I've really been working through this energy myself of allowing myself to let myself kind of what we call die. And so that my brain, my, my, my mind can become of the purest of form so that I can truly live from the place of being as good of a human being as I possibly can. That's been my mission since more than existing. That's been my mission since I took on the, the calling to, to wake up and, and do this and to move beyond the, I say the lies and the half ass truth that we tell ourselves and how we get so offended and angry, but there's a lot happening underneath the ground. There's a lot happening in the universe. So on earth right now, it feels like there's not a lot happening, but that's because we believe this is it. We believe that our feet are on the ground. We got these edges around us, but you're not, you're a ball. <laughs> You're on a snow globe. I keep saying that we're in our own little globe. And so in this, in this environment, in this world that we're living in, we are being prepared. So this is also time for you to be doing preparation into your own, into the next stage of your life, into your next new life, into the next new beginning, into the next new. And so it's not like, 
uh, this is our new normal. Everything that we've been experiencing, the pandemic and all those things is not your new normal. Hate the, that term. And I hate the whole woke that we're going to be now where you in the awakened world in the now that we're awakened. No, we're just being calm. That is like bullshit because the world has already been awake. You've already been awake, aware. You've been living in the realities that you create that you that are yours. But we're becoming more conscious. We're becoming more, more connected to each other. We're becoming, we're, and it's like, this used to be in the world. This used to be in the world. We lost this. We lost this with technology. We lost this with how, how big our world has gotten. And when our world got so big, we stopped living in our small worlds. When our worlds got so big, we stopped living in our small world. That we have this small world, we have we have a group, we have a community, we have a town, we have a neighborhood, we have cul-de-sacs, we have areas that are small. Well, when all towns and cities were much smaller, our worlds were smaller. We were more connected. When we were closer together, even though if you lived on farms and you were farther apart, you were still a community. You knew that if you went to your neighbor, you had help. You knew that if you went to the next door neighbor, you weren't going to be shot at. Like it was just something that you just knew that you had each other, that you could depend upon each other. And that's what we're trying to, that's what the universe is trying to bring back to us. Everything in the in the universal energy of the divine, of the hierarchy, of the angelic realm, of the guides, all works together and all has a purpose, but all supports each other. And that's where we that's what we have lost. We're not in, we're not in a time right now where we are kumbaya come together. We are in a time when we have something that is bigger and larger than the most of that, or bigger than larger than us, but the numbers of them is smaller. The number of the people that have the big ass ego that want to control everything is actually smaller than the people that want to do things together, that want to be a community, that want to. And so it's about looking at the, at the, small pictures, looking at the, the group of the collective of, of seeing ourselves being small again, to actually know that there's something bigger than us that is at work, that's here to assist and help us, that will bring about a reality of how much is not in our control. And even to those that appear to be big, how much is not in their control, that all it takes is for one thing to go wrong, one thing to go down, one thing to happen, once the snaps, the snaps, the snaps, and everything gets shut down. And I just feel like it's just like this energy just says, look at your, look at the small things in your life. And find the value and the appreciation for all the little things in your life, including all the little wins, all the little rewards, all the little things that you had. Because some of the big things that you've been trying to make happen or trying to achieve really, truly had to fall over. And so some things have to fall away. And those little things, when you put all those little things together, they turn out to be one big thing. And so when you look at all the things you've accomplished, when you look at all the greatness or you look at all the little places where you've had love, where you've had connection, where you've done the right things, when you put them all together, you see a bigger picture. And that's how our lives work. That's how we work as, as a channel is we don't look at one, one picture only. We take all the little pieces and we put all the little moving pieces of our lives together. And that's what you're doing. You're putting all the little pieces of your life together and looking at your life in one big framed picture of all pieces like a puzzle. And then you just look at the pieces that don't fit anymore. And you say, why am I holding on to the pieces that don't fit? And you're able to release them and let them go. And then you can look at all those little pieces and you can see your you can see your life you can see what you're creating you can see what you can live in and that you don't have to become a part of of somebody else's big picture you don't have to become a part of of what we call this whole sense of you know this big collective 
is that there's a lot of little pieces that can still work together, be unique, be an individual, and not have to be redefined and defined so that we all become that one picture. I don't know what all that means yet, but that's the message that I got. And that's the only way that I could put it out there was that that's the only way that I could describe this experience that I'm seeing. There's a lot of moving pieces right now. There's a lot of change to come. We have to be willing to take all of our beautiful moments and all of our great things about us and remember, remember, remember the loving things. Remember how good people were. Remember what things used to be like. And not that we're going to go back to the way things used to be. And we're not going to go back, but we're not letting, we're not letting fear run this new world, but we're also not letting somebody else's, somebody else's reality of what they think our lives should look like create ours. You are an individual with free will. And when you clear out the clutter, you get to live in your purest of mind. And you're not so concerned about what somebody else thinks of you, but you're also more concerned about your neighbor next door than you are, than you are about, you know, what a whole city thinks. You care about each other. And when we stop, start caring about each other, that's where the ripple effect comes in. Because if one neighbor cares, the next neighbor cares, the next neighbor cares, well, then that becomes a whole community. And all those little pieces of us becoming better people within ourselves truly starts to become part of a framed picture that we get to look at, that we get to look in. And we get to throw away the parts that are no longer serving our highest good. But we also get to remember that we are not here to live in those experiences of the past. We're here to live in what we're creating today. So as we come into this full moon energy, it's, it's a cold moon. There's a lot of things that is still just because it's cold doesn't mean we can't move, doesn't mean we can't breathe, experience the outside. We also have on this cold moon, on this sense of this is the, you know, this moon develops from youth to full to full adulthood during during some of the darkest days just like the hero's journey that we take and so during those dark during those longest nights and this is when this moon was starting to develop and starting to grow and so it rises and spends more time above the horizon during this time than it does anywhere else and I was writing this out for my for my meditation as I'm trying to write through some of this. And so it shines above the horizon longer. So the sun may not have been out as long, but the moon. So it's like we look at we look at the light from the sun as lighting up our lives, but we also have the moon. And the moon when in full bloom, when it can be a full grown ass adult and act in its present day state, it can light up the world. If we become, if we're always acting, if we're always acting as if we are still being triggered by our childhood experiences or the past experiences, we cannot be a light in the dark. We have to become a light in the dark by allowing ourselves to evolve, go full cycle, go to the end of the full cycle and to be a full light. And to know that it's not always the sun's job to light up our lives that even in the dark, there is a light. And that light can be there for a lot of people and do a lot of things when it acts and responds. Its, its actions come from a place of love and from being not triggered by the insecurities, fears of the past or the need to be right. To live a righteous life is to live one of the purest of minds. During this moon, it is about the purest of mind. This week, how can I clear? How can I keep, how can I start clearing out the clutter? How can I start preparing to release? And what am I ready to release and surrender of the past experiences so that I can allow who I am today to start to shine? So that we can all be a better world and that we can operate a lot of small little pieces operating together, working together will be stronger than one big person with a big ego. Remember that. 
I send you much love. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.